the place for comic book and anime reviews. Uh, one brother Campbell Twelves comic book anime reviews. And today I'm um, doing a topic video for you guys on the announcement of Kentaro Miyura, the creator of Berserk, um, dying at at the young age of 52. Um, so, as you guys may know, uh, I have been doing like um, reviews of Berserk uh, earlier, uh, reading some of the manga. Uh, I remember uh, I only I got into the manga like a while back. Uh, I, I think I said this in my review. I had gotten into it a while back. I never really finished it. I just mainly wanted to know how World Kafka stories went. Um, I read, I watched pretty much both versions of the anime for Berserk, uh, the nine, the ninety series and the movies. I never really watched the other series, the TGI series, uh, for obvious reasons. But, um, yeah, so, um, I have known Berserk for a while, uh, I, it definitely, I didn't have a connection to it, I definitely got emotionally invested in the characters and in the writing, uh, Casca is a really great character to me, Guts is a really great character to me, um, yeah, Katarmia created a really masterful manga and it really had an impact for me uh in getting back into the series recently uh it is kind of shocking to kind of find out like as you're getting back into the series um that he passes away in fact to the point where i didn't even believe it when it happened i remember i was on twitter uh and sisnet was posted a uh, a tweet about it, and I was like, nah, uh, you kind of hear or not, Dan, what are you talking about uh, since now, like, this is a joke, right, this is obviously a joke, like, um, this is not a great joke since now, like, come on, you, you don't have to reach for bottom of the barrel for these type of jokes, like, come on, since, since now, you don't, you, you don't have to do it, you guys don't have to do this, uh, I, he's not, come on, he's not dead, like, there's no way, there's no, mm, I, I was in complete denial <laughs> that, uh, Kinara Mira was dead. I was legitimately in complete denial about it until I realized no, it, he's legitimately dead. And the amount of shock I had about that because the, the amount of shock I had about like him dying was like because it was so unexpected and I know how like young he was, uh, he wasn't like one of these older people who was like in the hospital constantly like um, uh, Hunter x Hunter's creator was, like Hunter x Hunter's creator was Togashi, he's been hospital so many times, and it actually really works for Togashi now, like knowing that was a creator died, like Togashi should really like take a break off of Hunter x Hunter for a long time and really deal with his health problems because yeah, it is really, really something else to know that, like, a creator you admire, like, died. Um, and Berserk was is an amazing series. Like, you were really worried about the ending. It doesn't really matter how Berserk ended. But Berserk was already a masterpiece. No matter how it ended. Like, Berserk wrote so many great, solid arcs. Throughout very standalone arc, I just found the Lost Children arc and just how amazing the Lost Children arc was from beginning to end. Just how invested you become into these characters and the way they are characterized in the series is really something else. And it's really amazing what Katara Mira can do in his writing and to get you emotionally invested into a story so quickly and have such dynamic characters within the story, it's, it's really something else, and do it while also having this violence and visceral anger and anguish in it, with all the gore and the blood, uh, it's just, it's something else, it's it's wonderful how, I, I, I remember like, last night when this happened, because I mean, it's been, a, I, I slept on it down, so it's been a little bit of time, here, but I remember like, being like, I did not expect to be hurt as much by this 
for a series that I haven't read. Like, I, it's not like I've been like invested in the manga from the very beginning. I just, I, I only recently got back into the manga game, but I'm guess I, I still have those memories from way back in the day watching Berserk and in, in my high school. Ah, in front of people, and just that scene with, with guts and gripping in that bath scene, just how funny that was. It's just, I have so many memories with Berserk, and ah, really great series, and just really, really great characters within Berserk, and I just, I was always emotionally invested into the series, and to see that this story, the creator died, it's... It's painful, really, for me. It's it's one of my favorite series. It just, it really is. Uh, uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much my thoughts on the Berserk Crater dying, you guys. Um, yeah, um, if you guys want, you guys can subscribe or whatever. Uh, I don't really know how I'm dealing with this uh, right now. Or, how to react. I just, I get, wow. I just, I can't, I can't believe Kentaro Mira is legitimately dead. Like, that, that just still is completely unbelievable to me. Like, it is legitimately unbelievable to me. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much my thoughts on that's the whole ordeal, and I I catch you guys later. Peace out.